Good evening, everyone. It is time. Hi, Myra, uh, Edwin, Andy, Jancy, Denise, and Carlos. Hi. Hi, hi, teacher. How are you? Hey, what's up? What's up? How are you? I'm fine, thank you. What about you? It's oh, I'm fine. Thanks, thanks, um, teacher. Uh, today, I listen. Uh, I I'm going to be a listener, uh, because I am not in my house. Um, I uh, let me see. I I'm the house friend's house. Yeah. I explained uh, my cases uh, to the uh, to the insafor to the in, in charge the insafor of the the course today yeah, in, the, in the morning. Yes. Okay, I understand. Thank I'm you. I'm sorry. For, for I, 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 I I try to I try to participate. Yeah. I I let me know. Okay. Let me know. Whenever you are ready thank to you, participate thank you. or available, let me know. Don't 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 worry. Don't thank worry you. about it. Thank you. Yes, and uh, Denise, I read your message. Brian, I, I read your message too. Don't worry, I got you guys. Thank you for being here though. And uh, well, uh, yes, we got it, we got it. How are you guys? Look, it's something for English. The ones that are available, how are you guys? Teacher, yo Hi. quizás solo un momento voy a estar como, como oyente. Hola? Okay, let me know, let me know, okay? Okay, yeah. gracias. Because I, I read your message in the WhatsApp group. I read your message. Yes. Okay, gracias. Let me know. Yes, no problem. All right. Guys, how are you? Today is Thursday, almost Friday. How are you? How are you? Hello. Hello. Teacher. How are you guys? Very good, teacher. Very good. Mm. That's not, no, 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 le, no, le, no, le, no, le creo. <laughs> <laughs> uh, really? All right, all right. Hoy sí, mire, le creí que se rió. Excellent. There you go. Thank you, Mayra, for being here. Uh, Andy, hello, Andy, Edwin, and uh, Marvin. Hello, teacher. How are you guys? Como están? Higher, higher. <laughs> tired. You know, uh, to be honest, today I feel a little tired. Yes, I think it's because it's Thursday and, you know, we, we get psychologically tired on Fridays. So it's almost it is almost Friday. That's why we're feeling a little tired, feeling feeling a little wiped out. So it's okay. It's okay. I understand. Yes. Yes. What about you, Edwin? How are you? I see you there. Hello, teacher. Uh, I'm tired because my my time of work is it's beginning at five o'clock in the morning. Okay, today at five o'clock in the morning. Yes. yes. <laughs> but only, but only today, or is that every day? All week. And what time? What time do you finish? What time are you off? Uh, maybe three or four p.m. Depend the day. How many hours do you work? Maybe 12 <laughs> or 13. 12 hours. Wow. Yes. Every day from Monday to Saturday or Monday to sa to Friday? Uh, Monday to Friday. Uh, the Saturday is uh, 7 o'clock. From 7 to 3 or 4 p.m. Wow. Yes. No, that's not possible. <laughs> that's not possible. Jeez. Good evening, teacher. Hi, good evening, Ismael. Welcome. How are you, Ismael? 
Fine, thanks. What about you, teacher? Well, I was telling you, I was telling, I was telling some of you that today I feel a little tired. Uh, maybe, maybe because it is Thursday, it is almost Friday, and you know, on Friday we want to just have a rest and have fun on the the weekend. But I'm okay. I'm okay. But I'm just a little tired, you know. Yeah. You're wipe out. I'm sorry. You are a wipe out. Uh, not not really. Not really. A little. It's just a little tired. Not, not wiped out. Because I'm not really, really tired or very tired. I'm just a little tired. Hmm. The body knows that the Fridays, Fridays. Ex exactly, exactly. Yes, we psychologically know, you know. <laughs> exactly. All right. Well, we have we have many listeners today. Excuse me. We have many listeners today. Ismael, are you going to be as a listener? I'm asking because it says there uh, oyente in Spanish. Uh, by the moment, yeah. Later, I, I'll be participating. Okay, let me know, please. Let me know, let me know. Thank you, thank you very much. Uh, yes, that's a listener. That's a listener. Thanks. All right. Mm. Oh, there are a lot of people missing. Let me send a, where's my cell phone? Well, here through the computer, I'm going to send a message to the group to see what's going on. Messages. We got it, we got it. Perfect. Okay, let's begin. Let me <clears throat> take attendance, guys. Ana Victoria Galang. Andy Ernesto Martinez. Present, teacher. Thank you, Andy. Brian David Ramirez. Present, teacher. Thank you, Carlos Alberto Orrego. Yes, Carlos Eliezer Dimas. Christian Alexander Rivera. Denise Alejandra Zuniga. Present teacher. Thank you. Diana Yamilet Maravilla. I think she's had, she has a problem, right? I, I, I do not remember what the problem is. But she says she's teacher. Some... Teacher, hi. Sorry, did you mention me? Sorry. I think I did. Yes. 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 I. I person. I'm here. I'm here. Yes, you are there. Yeah. I can see you. Don't worry. Thank you. Thank you. Thank you. Oh, there is no electricity at Diana's place or at Diana's area, and there is no electricity at Elizabeth's area too. Okay, I get it. Well, that way it's impossible to get on online or to get connected. Edwin Heriberto Delgado. Present. Thank you. Ismael Ernesto Boyat. Present teacher. Thank you. Jorge Ernesto Hernandez. Marvin Josue Cortez. Present teacher. Thank you, Marvin. Marvin, are you going to be as a listener? Yes, teacher. I'm working. You are working. I'm sorry. I'm sorry, Mark. Um, I think working at night is difficult. Yes. Myra Elizabeth Lasso. 
Present teacher. Thank you. Wow. Cheer up, cheer up, be happy. <laughs> <laughs> Sorry. Paola Geraldine Santa Maria. Raquel Elizabeth La Rosa. Above. She has no electricity. Sandra Ives Mendoza. Veronica Alices Portillo. I'm present. Okay. Wow, Veronica, you just got here? I thought I got it. <laughs> All right, excellent. Thank you, thank you. Sara Rachel Salazar? No, no está, ¿verdad? And uh, Jancy Andrea Solorzano. Okay, we are ready. Thank you guys for joining the session. It's it's good to see you, to have you here again. Yes, as I said, there are many listeners today. People, if you if you can participate, uh, please let me know. Uh, you know, because uh, I have very few people. Hay muy poquitos para participar. Entonces, I will need your help later on if you're able to participate. Do so, okay. Háganlo, háganlo. Si pueden participar, háganlo. Ya que hay muy pocos que estarán participando disponibles. All right, let's begin. Let me show you what we will be doing. All right, here we go. Today is class number 16. Today we begin with unit number four or session number one, number four. Uh, if we're talking about the platform, it's going to be session number four. Today is the beginning. People, let me tell you that we're going to finish the module next week on Wednesday. On Wednesday. Remember, we were supposed to finish the classes or the module on Tuesday, but there was a day that I could not really teach because I did not have electricity in my house or in this area. Uh, we had to call off the class and uh, or postpone it for another day for the next week. So we're going to finish the module on Wednesday next week. And uh, today we begin with unit number four. Today is Thursday. And as you can see, the topic is a topic we already studied. I do not really understand why the topic is there again, but we're gonna review the topic again, how to use should. Yes, I'm not really sure when or which class this was, but I'm pretty sure, I'm pretty sure that we studied or we practiced or we reviewed this topic before. Yes, I'm not really sure when or which session it was, but we already did it, like in unit number one or number two, I'm not really sure. So today we're gonna review that that uh, model verb again, how to use the should. We're gonna see it in an affirmative form and negative forms. Iniciemos. Do you remember some idioms? Recuerdan algunos dichos o modismos? Hello, hello people. Do you remember some idioms? The ones that we practiced yesterday? Do you remember them? Wipe up. Okay. <laughs> it's okay, don't worry. Wipe out. Wipe out. What else? Take it easy. All right, take it easy. Yeah, no, take it easy. Yeah. Well. But that was in the in the first the first idiom class. But it's okay, it's okay. It's an idiom. It's an idiom. Take it easy. What else? What else? What else? Read my mind. Read one's mind. Slip one's mind. Uh huh. What else? What else? It stresses out. Stressed. Stressed out. Stressed out. Yes. Stressed uh, out. The scale back one's hours. Yes, exactly. Scale back once hours. Exactly, exactly. Yes, you are right. Penny. I'm sorry? 
hanging to there. settle and down. Uh -huh. Settle down, hanging there, hanging there, settle down. What else? Take it easy. Take it easy, thank you. Hang in, the, in there? Yes, hang in there, exactly. Sleep one mind. Sleep one's mind, exactly, exactly. Piece of, piece of cake. Sorry? Piece of, piece of cake. Well, okay, that one is not, is not really part of the classes, but piece of cake is also an idiom. Yes, exactly, Ismael, piece of cake. Tip, tip that. Which one? Sipsa. Uh huh. Exactly. Sipsa. Mm, it's a phrasal verb. It's a phrasal verb. It's a verb phrasal, but it's okay. Sipsa. Yes. Yes. <laughs> yes. Yes. Remember. Remember. Let me tell you this. You. You. Sometimes you. You might. You might confuse the phrasal verb with the idiom. You might confuse them with the idiom. Yes, yes, let me help you out here. Take it easy. Oops, sorry. Mira que me equivoco aquí. Observa que take it easy. Pongamos otro. Pongamos el slip. My mind. Aquí puede cambiar, puede variar con la persona, ok? It can, it can, it can vary. How are you going to identify the idiom? And the phrasal verb, well, that is very simple. The idiom doesn't usually doesn't usually contain a preposition. Okay, the preposition up, down, about, for, with, etc. Of, in, on, entre otros. Look, look for. Get off. Uh, and uh, seize up. Okay. Get up. Yes. Okay. But but of course there are there are some idioms that have prepositions, but not all idioms have prepositions. Phrasal verbs do have prepositions. All of them have prepositions. The phrasal verbs. That's how you can identify. If it is a preposition or if it is, pardon, if it is a, a phrasal verb or an idiom, yes. Okay, let me write down the ones that we started hanging there. You mentioned them already. You mentioned the settle down. You mentioned sleep once mine. You, you mentioned scale. Scale what was? Back once hours. Heal back once hours. What else? They keep to keep one's hand. Okay, to keep one's head above. The water. What else? Oh, wiped out, right? Wiped out. Is that it? Creo que son todos, ¿verdad? Falta uno. Eran ocho, sí, eran ocho. Falta uno. There's one missing. Guys, there's one missing. To have the lot on one's plate. We got it, we got it. I just yeah. <laughs> but there's one missing. I'm, I'm sure there's one missing. Uh, stress it out. Yes, exactly. Stressed out. There you go. All right. We got it. We got him. We got him. Uh, un, un pequeño tip aquí, bueno, no tip, sino que na, uh, acá con esto que están acá. Con los verbos que terminen en, 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 uh, en de, 
a veces, en muchas ocasiones, por ejemplo, stress, stressed, tiene la T al final. Hay que pronunciar esa extra T, una extra sílaba. La palabra es stress, stress, hasta la S. Ahora, para ponerle en pasado o como adjetivo, le ponemos la E y la D, y hay que, hay que, hay que pronunciar esa extra sílaba que estamos agregando. Stressed. Teacher. Sí, Stressed. Stressed. Ahora, lo que sigue es una preposición que es el out. Podemos combinar la T que termina en stressed con ese out. Y podemos decir stressed out. Stressed out. Stressed out. Yes. Stressed out. Y suena mucho más sencillo decirlo así. Stressed out. Que en vez de decir stressed out. Stressed out. Stressed out. Mucho más sencillo. The same applies with white out, white out, white out. Lo mismo aplica, white out. Re recuerden, eso aplica si el verbo tiene la ed al final, si está en pasado o si es un adjetivo que está con ed. Y luego le sigue una preposición. Uh, otro puede ser otro ejemplo. Let me think, let me think. I'm thinking, I'm thinking. Es también. Ay, lo pongo yesterday. Les puse un ejemplo. Ahí significa yo hice ejercicio ayer. Ese workout es otro first, first number. Yo hice ejercicio ayer. Observen, worked, worked. Escuchen, worked. Tiene una extra sílaba que es la ED con T. Worked. Y luego el out, worked out. Worked out. I worked out yesterday. Se une o se conecta. La, la reposición con el verbo. Okay. Keep, keep that in mind. Okay, no lo olviden, no lo olviden. All right, hang in there. What is hang in there? Do you remember? Recuerda qué significa hang in there. Um, to have a lot of patience. Yes, to have a lot of patience. To have a lot of patience. Yes. What about settle down? What about settle down? To calm, to calm, to calm down. Yes, to, to calm take down. it easy. Yes, to calm down or to take it easy. It's when you are when you are angry, when you are upset. You like, hey, settle down, settle down. Like, last breathe, breathe. Take it easy, all right? Yes, that's what settle down is. Sleep one's mind. Sleep one's mind. What does this mean? ¿Qué significa este? It means, it means to forget, olvidar. To forget. Yes. Podemos acá, el día de ayer, algunos se confundieron con este once que está acá. Se confundieron con este once que está ahí. En, esos, en cuatro, hay, en cuatro de los idioms que vimos ayer está el once. Ese once se elimina, ¿ok? Se elimina y se reemplaza con la persona que está al principio o con, con quien estamos hablando. Si hablamos de, de, de mi persona, yo o I, lo ponemos con my. Igual abajo, si yo digo I scale, o pongamos bueno, mejor eh, el jefe, eh, the boss scale back. Okay. Ponemos ahí his hours, que él redujo sus horas, redujo sus horas. He scaled back his hours. His. Que quitamos el, el, el once y ponemos his. O I, I want, yo quiero, I want to scale back my hours. Yo quiero reducir mis horas. I want to scale back, escuchen, scale back my hours. No once hours, ¿ok? Ese once se refiere a que vamos a colocar una persona ahí. Borramos el once y ponemos una persona específica. Yes. En este caso serían los, los, uh, los possessive adjectives. My, your, his, her, its, our, and their. Yes. So sleep, sleep one's mind significa, or it means to forget. All right? Scale back once hours 
means reduce. Reduce the hours of work. To have a lot on one's plate, it means to have many activities or many tasks to do or a lot of work to do. To keep one's head above the water, it means to survive or to be strong, okay? Yes, mantener la cabeza fuera del agua, okay? Like you're surviving to what is going on. Wiped out is to be very tired. Stressed out is when you have, when you're going through severe strain and you are very stressed. Okay, there you go. Excellent. Ahora, let's go to the book. Let me show you what we're going to be talking about. Here it is. Let me know si lo pueden ver. Yes, sure. Let me see who else has joined. Hello, Jorge and Sandra. Thank you guys for joining. Diana, hello. Thank you for being here. Hello, teacher. Hello, teacher. Good evening. I see you. Good evening. Good evening, guys. ¿Cómo están? ¿Qué pasó con Mayra? No puede ser que... <laughs> Y se mire solo, solo una figura negra oscura. Oh, really? No, no hay luz donde estoy. Oh, really? Sí, dijo, ¿verdad? Sí, tiene razón. I'm sorry, Mayra. Es que se mira bien raro. It's okay, it's okay. Don't worry, don't worry. Yes. Well, I really appreciate your, your doing the effort and you're here, even, even though there is no electricity. That's excellent. Yes. Okay, let's begin. I was telling you earlier that today we begin unit number four. Unit number four is company procedures and policies. Company procedures and policies. Now look at the objective or the goal for today's session. I will be able to tell about policies in my workplace. Guys, I ask, what does policies mean? ¿Qué significa esa policy que aparece ahí? ¿Alguien sabe? No. No. For I have the the Order, no sé si se dice así. Orders. Or, no, como orden. A rules. Ajá, como para mantener un orden con los compañeros. Exactly, exactly, yes. Policies, policies are rules that every company establishes to be, you know, or to have a very good environment with the employees, with the clients, customers, etc. Yes. All right. And it says there, it says in part one, do you know the policies at your workplace? Oh, políticas, indica políticas. Okay, policies, policies indica políticas. Do you know the policies at your workplace? People, do you know them? Let me ask directly. Let me see. Let me hear from Andy. Andy, Andy, do you know the policies at your workplace? Hello, teacher. Do I'm you here. know the policies? Do you know the policies at your workplace? And the policy, the policy in, in my workplace. And only, only that, do it go the work. Uh -huh. Which one do you say? And, and, and we be responsible. Okay, be responsible. So, so very responsible. Okay, 
I understand. I understand. Okay. Be responsible is one of them. Yes, it is one of them. Sandra, tell us about your policies. <laughs> Sorry, teacher. I can't hear you so because it's raining. The policies. The policies in your company. What is the policies? Yes, in your company. Mm. Let me let me review. Um, wear always wear formal. Okay, always wear formal. Um, be how do you say punctual? Punctual, be punctual, yes. Sorry, teacher, can you repeat? Punctual, punctual. Punctual. Punctual, punctual. Punctual. Yes. Um... Always be loyalty. Okay, always be loyal. All right. All right. Well, Sandra, thank you. Thank you very much. Uh, Edwin, what, what about you, Edwin? Tell us about your policies. Don't worry. Don't worry if they are the same, okay? Don't worry if they are the same. Mm. I don't remember what is the policy. <laughs> Police, but he maybe he be punctual. Mm -hmm. uh, when, the order of the of the work mm -hmm. and. and ¿Cómo sería respetar los objetos de tus compañeros? Respect your classmates' Respect. tools. Sorry, Respect. sorry, classmates. <laughs> Respect your colleagues. Respect your colleagues or respect your co-workers' tools or okay. belongings. Okay. Respect, sorry, respect your colleagues. For workers, things, belongings, or tools. He colocado ahí con, con, con slash para que elija uno de los tres. Okay. Respect your co worker things, tools. Okay. Mm -hmm. All right. Thank you. Thank you. Excellent. Let's continue with another person. Diana, can you tell us about the policies you have in your company? Hi, teacher. Hi. Um, in my company, um, uh, one of the policies uh, is to giving first tears loans. Come again. Uh, how you to say corto plazo? Uh, short, short term. Short, short time. Uh -huh. Low arms. Uh, la, the police is to giving short term low arms. Okay. Um, and, um, and fear of the complete the, the documentation. Documentation. The documentation. Can the documentation. Yes. Mm -hmm. Yes. Okay. Yes. All right. Uh, mm -hmm. Okay. We got it. We got it. Thank you, Diana, for sharing. Veronica, what about your policies? Can you mention them? 
uh, uh, maybe we have the good behavior. Um, we have the excellent, I don't know, say, a self personal group man. Self, self cleaning. Self, Sorry? Self cleaning, self cleaning. Self cleaning. Maybe be punctual. Punctual. Punctual, be punctual. Mm -hmm. That's it. Okay, that's it. All right, I understand. I understand. And Myra, can you tell us about yours? Mention at least on you can mention only one or two, no problem. Okay, teacher, it's uh, in my case. Some policies uh, in my work are not to use cell phones during uh, working hours. Mm -hmm. Um, to be careful and to be polite with the clients, to order my work area easier, and to dress appropriately. Appropriately. Okay, appropriately. All right, thank you for sharing. Okay, we have a bunch of policies already. Be punctual, respect each other, dress uh, formally or respect the dress code. Uh, let's take a look at some list over here, some of them. Dice code, code of conduct, código de conducta, okay? Yes, this is a, a code of conduct. It's a common policy found in most businesses. Okay, esto aparece en todas las empresas, en todas las compañías. It is a set of rules that companies expect employees to follow. These, sorry, the rules establish the expect behavioral standards for all employees. Okay, y aquí aparece lo que contiene el código de conducta. A code of conduct policy may cover the following. Attendance and absence, employee behavior, company values, break and mealtime policies, confidentiality, use of company property, use of social media, plagiarism, travel policies, conflict of interest, client interaction, dress code, and reporting misconduct. Okay, eso sería una, que, que cubre todo lo que está acá abajo. Todo lo que está acá abajo. Acá hay muchas más. Questions about this one. Preguntas sobre esta. Preguntas. No questions, vamos a leerla entonces. ¿Quién la puede leer? Vamos a elegirlo a lo mejor. Vamos a ver. Let me choose a person. Uh, me, teacher. Okay, thank you, Edwin. Excellent. Go ahead. Okay. Code of conduct. A code of conduct is a common policy found in most business. It is a set of rules that companies expect employees to follow. Uh, the rule establish uh, the expect behavioral standards for all employees. A code of conduct police may cover to follow attendance and absence. absence. Employee absence, employee behavior, uh, company values, break and multi policies, the confidentiality, use of company properties use of social media, plagiarians, what is the, <laughs> the pronunciation uh, for this? Plagiarism, plagiarism. Uh, plagiarism, mm. travel police, conflicts of interest, uh, client interaction, dress code, reporting misconduct. Okay, okay, ahí está. Asistencia, absencia, dice. 
eh, ausencia, sorry. Ok. Behavior, comportamiento del empleado. Values, valores de la compañía. Receso y políticas de, de almuerzo. Meal time. Meal time significa uh, como comer en la mañana, en la, en la tarde o tarde en la noche. Ok. Depende de la company. Confidencial, uh, confidencial aquí. Uh, vamos a ver. El uso de la compañía, bueno, la instalación de la compañía. Uso de, de, de redes sociales, de social media, el plagio, ok. Política de viajes, etc. Voy a dejar que están acá. Código de ropa, interacción con los clientes, ok, etc. This one is code of conduct. Hay muchas, muchas políticas, ok. There are many policies and we can be talking about that the whole class. Recruitment, ok. Recruitment policy. What does recruitment? ¿Qué significa recruitment? Recruitment. Aquí está. Como reclutamiento, maybe. Yes, exactly, exactly. No, 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 maybe. Yes, yes. <laughs> yes. Okay. Excellent, excellent. Okay. Política de reclutamiento. All right. A workplace recruitment policy outlines how the company hires new people. It says, sets out the hiring process and aims to promote consistency in the recruitment process. It's an important document for employees to access and make, make what? May cover the following things. Internal and external hiring preferences, equal opportunity and anti-discrimination, job description and advertisement templates, Selection process and time frame. How to review resumes and cover letters. The expected amount of shortlisted applicants. How to check references. And how to select a suitable candidate and offer the job. Yes. Do you have a question or any questions about the vocabulary here? Teacher, what does it mean? Aims. Aim, uh, ¿cómo podría explicarle ese aim? Apuntar. A lo que apuntamos como la meta, el objetivo, ¿dónde está aim? What is it? The process and the aims to promote consistency. Oh, oh yes. Acá está. It sets out the hiring process. It aims en apunt apuntar. Es como apuntar, ¿ok? Pero es que no puede explicar en el contexto acá cómo sería la palabra en español. Uh, es como busca lograr, algo así, busca lograr. Se aim. Yes. Es apuntar también con una Time, cola. time frame. Sorry, time frame. Tiempo específico, marco de tiempo. Mm -hmm. Like specific time you get. Yes. Yes. What else? Sweet table. Suitable. Suitable. Mm -hmm. Es dijo, ¿verdad? Suitable. Yes. Yes. Suitable. It's like the right person, la persona correcta, the right person. How to select a right or perfect, como perfecto, un candidato perfecto o... For the... <laughs> I know the word in English, mire. Conozco la palabra en inglés, pero no sé qué significa en español. Sí sé que es como perfecto, uh, capaz. Exactly. Feliz. El que le da, el que atina. Eh, eh, <laughs> sí, sí, es que así es, esa palabra es. <laughs> Suitable. How to select a perfect... Necessary. How to select a perfect candidate. Así es. Perfect candidate. Mm -hmm. Un, un uh, candidato perfecto. Sí. Ese es suitable. What else? Espera, me quiere... ¿Cómo se dice que más pólvora, tío? <laughs> Sorry. Quemando pólvora ahorita. Quema de pólvora. I can understand you, Veronica. Es que está de fiesta el pueblito. Where? Me japa, okay. sí. Fireworks. Congratulations. Oh, okay. I don't understand. <laughs> There is a festival in the 
In the Hapa fire, city. The mm. fireball. In which city? Nehapa. Uh, Veronica what the, City. What is the festival about? Veronica City. Veronica City. Ahí está, mire, so, apto, eh, la palabra. Fireball. Apto, fireball. Eh, adecuado, perfecto, apto, esta es la palabra que buscaba. <laughs> Yeah, I understand the word in English, but I don't know. The, I don't under, remember the, the word in Spanish. Yes. Yes, look. That's the one. That's the perfect word. Yes. Suitable. Pero no puedo decir appropriate teacher. O oh, yeah. es sinónimo. Yes, the appropriate candidate. Yes. Yes, the right candidate, the perfect candidate. Vamos a ver acá. Quiero compartir sonido. Vamos a ver si lo escuchan. Suitable. 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 Suit is a verbo. That's no. That's no. That's no. That's the verbo. Vamos a ver. Este. That's the one. And uh, let me see if I have another one. Solo aparece ese, ese verbo no me Okay, we got it. We got it, we got it. Regresemos acá. Vamos a Sandra, lea, por favor. Requirement, place. A workplace requirement, place. Policy. Policy, recruitment policy. Recruitment policy. Recruitment policy of life. How the company hires new people. It sets out the hiring process and aims to promote consistency in the recruitment process. It's an important document for employees to access and may cover the following teams. Internal and external hiring preference equals opportunity and anti discrimination, job description and advice. Advert. I, uh, I'm not sure about advertisement. <laughs> How to pronounce teacher? Advertisement. Advertisement. Templates, selection, perception, process, and time frame. How to review resumes and cover letters that expect among of share listed apply applicants 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 how to check reference and how to select a suitable candidate and offer the job. Okay, candidate. The candidate. Candidate. Yes. All right. We got it. We got it. Thank you for that one. This policy is about how to hire people. Recording hire significa give a person a job. Contratar. Hire. Yes. All right. There's another one. Hay una más creo. Bueno, hay varias, pero no sabemos todo porque es demasiada información. It's too much information. Internet and email policy. This policy outlines, oh, what does outline mean? ¿Qué significa outline? No me preguntaron sobre eso. Ya lo saben entonces, creo que ya lo saben. What? Outline. ¿Qué significa outlines? Ahí aparece, ¿no? Outlines. What does outline mean? ¿Qué significa ese outline? Um, Esta que está acá. Uh... No? <laughs> what? Resume. Resumir. Resumir. This is outline. I use it. This policy outlines. Esta política resume como las compañías esperan que los empleados oh. usen su correo, sus cuentas de correo, etc. Well, this policy outlines how companies expect employees, sorry, to use their email accounts and their internet. It helps to save time and promote efficiency. It also sets up the procedures to minimize risk, which is especially important to secure networks. And internet and email policy may cover the following things. Internet access rules, 
appropriate uh, online usage, controls of on me misuse of the internet, restrictions on web browsing, a security protocol for online data, download rules, social networking rules, work email usage rules, how to frame emails to colleagues, and work email usage at home or outside the office. Yes. This, this uh, policy is about internet and about emails, how to use the email appropriately or how to use the internet appropriately. Appropriate, property, people look. That's appropriate, that's appropriate, it's appropriate, appropriate, pretty, pretty, pretty. appropriate. Yes. Difficult yeah. to pronounce. Appropriately. Appropriately. Appropriate. Okay, let me see. Let me choose a person to read. Mayra, can you read? Okay. Internet policy. This policy of line has companies expect employees to use their email accounts in the internet. It helps save time and promote how do you say efficiency? Efficiency. 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 Okay. Efficiency. It also says that production to minimize risk, which is especially important for secure networks. Um, an internet and email policy may cover the following things. Internet access rules, appro appropriate online use, control on misuse of the internet, restriction on web browsing, a security protocol for online data, download rules, social networking rules, or email use rules, how to find emails to collect. Colleagues um, work email use at home or outside the office. Okay, we got it. Thank you for reading, Mayra. Excellent. Again, again, oh now we have we have uh, mobile, mobile, you can say mobile. Listen, you can say mobile or mobile. Okay. Mobile phone policy or mobile phone policy. Ahí varía el, el, el acento, ya sea británico o estadounidense, ok, mobile sería en, en, en uh, Gran Bretaña o Inglaterra, mobile sería ya en Estados Unidos. Mobile phone policy. Uh, mobile phone policy covers the rules of mobile phones use, usage in the workplace. It may cover, it may cover personal mobile phone usage as well as work mobile phones. This policy in the workplace will provide employees with a comprehensive set of rules about when and how they are allowed to use their mobile phones. This sort of policy is set up to promote productivity and reduce distractions. It may cover the following. Cubre lo siguiente. When you can, when you can use your personal mobile phone, where you can keep your personal mobile phone during office hours, Rules surrounding personal phone calls, how to use your work mobile phone, and what is and isn't an accept acceptable use for your work mobile phone. Yes. Questions about the vocabulary. Mm -hmm. No? Surrounding. Sorry? Surrounding. El entorno. Yes. 
surrounding, surrounding. Okay, no questions. Creo que esto va a ser el último. Hay, hay mucho que hacer. Yo, sí, sí, va a ser el último. Vamos a ver, uh, let's choose. Jorge is driving, he cannot, but it's okay. Veronica, can you do it? Okay. Yes. Thank you. Mobile phone policy. A mobile, mobile phone policy covers the rules of mobile phone usage in the workplace. It may cover personal mobile phone use. How pronunciation? Sorry, no. Se me olvida. Usage. 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 As well as work. More phones, phones. This policy policy in the workplace will provide employees with a comprehensive set of rules about when and how they are allowed to use their mobile phones. These these sorts of policies that set up to promote productivity and reduce distractions. It may cover the following. When you can use your personal mobile phone, where you can keep your personal mobile phone during office hours, rules surrounding, surrounding personal phone calls, how to use your your work mobile phone, what is what is an isn't acceptable use use for your work mobile phone. Okay, thank you, thank you, Veronica, for reading. Let me show you the other ones. This one is about smoking, the smoking policy. There are some places that that, that allow smoking, and there are some places that do not allow smoking. Yes. For example, there are, uh, I went to a place a long time ago, a call center to be specific. I went to this call center in San Salvador and uh, they allow people to smoke, but they allow people to smoke in specific areas, not everywhere, not inside the company. They have to go outside and smoke outside. Yes. But you know, most companies do not allow this. Yes. Okay, look, whether smoking is allowed, designated smoking areas, smoke, smoking breaks, and smoking off-site. Uh, health and safety policy. Okay, política de salud también existe, por supuesto. Acá está un montón, observen. Yes. Anti-discrimination and harassment policy. And, uh, well, that's it. Okay, mucho, mucho, hay, hay tres más, pero we don't, have, we don't have more time. Vamos a continuar acá. So guys, it's it's very essential or important to follow to follow the policies that we have in the company. Let me tell you uh, 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 something I had to do. Trabajé una compañía y la política era no sentarse. Sí, no sentarse. Jamás sentarse. Era la política de la compañía no sentarse. I was like, what? What? Yes. Estaba parado desde las 7 de la mañana, 8 de la mañana hasta las 6 p.m. sin sentarme. Wow. Horrible, horrible. Yes. Y aún mantienen esa política. Aún, aún la tienen. A donde ser, aún la tienen. No la han quitado todavía. Aún la mantienen. Esa política un poco absurda. Like it's impossible, physically, physically impossible. All right. There is a conversation uh, between Bruno and Max. Let me read this conversation to you guys, and then you will have your chance to practice with a partner. Hey, Max, look, I want to know about, okay, no, I just say what. I want to know what, excuse me, what the, what policies you have in your company. How are you, Max? Well, there are many policies in my company. 
For example, employees should wear a uniform always. Este always debería ir después de should. So, porque está ahí. Well, in my company, you shouldn't be late. If you do this, you receive a warning. And uh, should you notify your superiors if you do something wrong? Yes, you should. I see. Another policy we have at my at my work is the use of drugs. Nobody should do drugs. We also have that policy in my work. Pero aquí está esto. Pueden quitar este tú. O pueden quitar el otro. Está repetido lo mismo. Pueden quitar ese oso o pueden quitar el cualquiera de los dos. Uno está extra. Okay, we have that policy in my work too. You shouldn't do it. I think so too. Okay, that's the conversation. Do you have any questions about it? Pregunta sobre ella. Drugs. No, we're good. Estamos bien. Teacher, what does oh. it mean, drug? Drugs or do? No, hala, the next word. Drugs. Yes. Oh, this is uh, sustancias ilícitas, ilegales. So. <laughs> yes. Yes. Like the flores. Sorry. <laughs> there you go. How the pronunciation say? How the color? How the color, Veronica? Drugs. <laughs> M -E -M. Don't, don't do drugs. I say. Don't do drugs. <laughs> no. Don't do drugs, okay? Yes. It's it stuff is a best drug. No. Yeah, it's like a. Like, Te mostraré like la, a, la mayor no. droga que puede existir en el mundo. Coca Cola. Poison, poison. <laughs> Está vacío, por cierto. No, no me la tomé yo. <laughs> Buena excusa, mía. <laughs> hmm. All right, all right. Who has the day? Who has the day? Yes, I'm not a lot. Oh, sorry. Yes. Entonces sería, should always, always wear a uniform. Grammatically speaking, yes. Grammatically speaking, it's always the yes at a car. Yes. Yes. De hecho, déjenme decirle que en todas las reglas que yo he leído, en todas las veces que yo he leído la regla de los, de los uh, frequency adverbs de always, never, sometimes, occasionally, van después de la, después del, 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 del bueno, no, de aquí, perdón. Okay, pero igual aquí sería mejor, always, should always wear uni a uniform. Ok, acá, y no al final. Solo van al final, este, sometimes, y va... Sometimes también al principio y usually también al principio. Los demás van en medio. No se puede usar al final. Ok. Pero si, ya sé, si es en spoken, en hablado, si no importa. Y si lo puede usar así como está acá. No hay problema. Si es spoken. Pero si es escrito, no. I would not recommend doing that. Yes. Yeah. Ok. We got it. Now, let's practice, people. Let's practice. Let's see. Mayra and Sandra, you are the first ones. Oh, wow. Okay. <laughs> I can see you. I only <laughs> see your eyes. <laughs> Sorry. It's, it's, it's on the spectrum. Like a... It's like a spirit. <laughs> Exactly, exactly. exactly. I have a. I, I go in nightmare. uh, nightmares. Nightmares. Might have living more dreams. Nightmares. Okay. Hey, Max. Yeah. Hey, hey, Max. 
look, I want to know what police you have in your company. How are you, Mark? Well, there are many policies in my company. For example, employees should always wear a uniform. Always. Well, in my company, you shouldn't be late. If you do this, you receive a warning. And should you notice not your superior if you do something wrong? Yes, should you should. I see. Another policy we have on my work is the use of drugs. Nobody should do drugs. We also have that policy in my work too. You shouldn't do this. I think so too. Okay. Teacher. Yes. There are mistakes. There is a mistake in Max say how are you, Max? I think uh -huh. say how are you, Bruno? No respondió o cómo, no sé, sí, no entiendo. Ah, es right. Dice Max y Bruno. Max que... dice, ¿cómo estás? Max. Max? <ríe> ah, sí, sí, How sí, sí, you, are you, Max? Mire que no, no, no me di cuenta. <ríe> wow, sí, sí. Se pregunta el mismo. <ríe> Se pregunta el mismo. Max dice, how are you, Max? Yes, you're right, you're right. He's talking with himself. Yes. Como dije anteriormente, abajo en la última ya sea oso o use tú uno de los dos no los dos porque es lo mismo aquí dice también tenemos esa política en mi trabajo también como que repetimos también dos veces sí. oso significa también Muy y tú es también entonces no hay dos palabras repetidas ahí let's continue with the dos anas Eti how do you pronounce how do you say metido in English what? Metido. How do you say in English? What? I cannot tell you. I can't 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 tell I remember Snoopy, it, it metido. And you can say nosy too. And uh, hay otra más que es med meddler, pero eso no es muy común. Nosy es más común, nosy. Otra es meddler. Se lo pondré. Meddler. Meddler. All right, so let's continue. Edwin, help us with Andy. Okay. Okay, teacher. Thank you. You feel well, ahead. <laughs> okay. Uh, hey, Max. Look, I want to know what policies you have in your company. How are you, Max? Well, there are many policies in my company. For example, employees should wear a uniform always. Well, in my company, you shouldn't be late. If you do this, uh, you receive a warning. And should, and should you notify your super your superiors if you done something wrong? Yes, you should. I see. Another police we have at my work is the is the use of drug. Nobody should do drug. Uh, we also have that policy in my world too. You shouldn't do it. I think so too. Okay, you thank think you so too. Sure. Thank you, thank you both. Thank you. Yes. Let's continue. Anna, can you participate? I can see you. Uh, okay. Okay. Anna and Diana. <laughs> D Diana. No? Diana. 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 Okay. Diana. Yes. Okay, Go. Diana. Hi. 
Okay. And you will start. Oh. Okay. Yes. Okay. Yes. Okay. Bruno, Max. I can. I can. Okay. okay. Hey, Max. Look, I want to know what police do you have in your company? Hi, are you, Max? We there are many police in my company. For example, employees, so we only for a while. Well, in my company, in my company, you shouldn't be late. If you don't, if if you do this, you receive a warning. I should. You notify your superiors if you do some type of work. Yes, you should. I see. Another policy we have in my world is the use of drug. Nobody should do drug. Uh, we also have that policy in my world, too. You shouldn't do it. I think so. I think so, too. Thank you, Dan. Okay. Uh, I'm not sure if I have more people available to participate right now. Guys, if you are available to participate, let me know. Well, I think I have Ismael. Ismael? Yes, teacher. I, I can participate. Jorge, are you driving? I think Jorge is driving right now. Me? Okay. Yes, yes. Go ahead. Thank you. Okay. Hey, Max. Look, I want to know what the policies you you have in your company. How are you, Bruno? Well, there are many policies in my company. For example, employees should always wear a uniform. Well, in my company, you shouldn't be late. If you do this, you receive a warning. And should you notify your superiors if you do something wrong? Yes, you should. I see. Another policy we have at my work is the use of, dro of drugs. Nobody should do drugs. We also have the policy in my work to I'm not, I'm not, I'm not sure. work you shouldn't do it okay we finish okay we got it thank you, you both i think so too okay there you go there are parts so. that it's difficult to uh oh, oh, it's it's other, it's other. <laughs> I can see. I think so too. <laughs> I think so too. Yes, I think so too is the last one. All right. Number three, pair work. Complete the questions about the conversation, then write with write the answer. Oh, people, thank you. Thank you for, for uh practicing the conversation. It's good to practice, you remember. Now, what are some policies at Max's company? Second. What should a worker do if she or he makes a mistake? Ese makes no lleva ese. All right. Oh, quiero ver si, si, si lleva ese, sí. Perdón, me confundí. Sí, aquí está el verbo. Sí, sí. Yes. It needs an S. All right. What, uh, what are some policies at Max's company, people? Can you mention the companies? I'm sorry, the, the policy that he has? No. The employee should always wear a uniform. Okay. You should always wear a uniform, right? What else? Uh, they shouldn't be late. Okay. You shouldn't you shouldn't do drugs. Okay. What else?
You shouldn't be late. Okay, you shouldn't you shouldn't be late. They use not allowing the 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 drug drugs 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 drugs. Okay, we got it. What what about second? What should a worker do if she or he makes a mistake? Uh, he or she should notify the superiors if they do something wrong. Exactly, exactly. You are right. They have to notify or they should notify that they have done something wrong. Yes. Okay. Let's continue. Thank you guys for your participation. Now, Pisaka, let's learn about should. As I said before, I do not remember the session, but I'm really, I'm pretty sure, or I am sure, extremely sure, that we practice should uh, in a previous session. Maybe unit number one or unit number two. But I don't remember which uh, session it was, but I'm sure we already studied should. All right, but let's do it again. Let's do it again, no problem. Okay, uh, should. Should is used. We use should in the following situations. Recommendations, suggestions, good ideas, bad ideas, and advice. Okay, we're going to see one by one to see how we use, we use should in different situations. This is the structure to make a sentence. Subject can be any subject. It can be a company. It can be an animal. It can be a person. All right. Right, right after the subject, we need to use the auxiliary modal verb should. Should. Yes, should. Deveria. Deveria. That's what it should means. Look, the students should. Los alumnos o los estudiantes deberían. Verb, study. Study. Complement for the exam. Está conformado o compuesto por cuatro componentes. Four components. Subject, should, verb, complement. Okay, yes. And, uh, well, we use should with all subjects. With I should, you should. She should, sin ese, he should, it should, you should, we should, they should. Igual el verbo sería siempre su forma original o forma base sin ninguna alteración. Okay? It doesn't matter, it doesn't matter if we're using third person singular, we still use should and we still use the base form. Let's be good. Take a look. Recommendations, recommendations for music, for movies, series, and places. And para muchas cosas más, okay? Para muchas cosas más. Music, movies, series, places, uh, events, uh, restaurants, what else? Uh, stores, shopping centers, etc. Tenemos un montón. Car, car washes. And uh, look, for the negative form, we use should not, or the contracted form, shouldn't. For the negative form, we use should not, or the contracted form, shouldn't. Examples, you should watch the new Avengers movie. Well, there's no new, new Avengers movie, I think. There's no new movie. All right, you should watch. Deberías ver la nueva película de los Vengadores. Creo que no hay, okay? Es un ejemplo ya un poco, un poco, un poco old-fashioned. You should listen to Adele's new album. Okay, no sé si es un nuevo álbum de Adele, no sé la verdad. 
But you should listen to Adele's new album of people. You should listen to Adele, okay? She's fantastic. You, you should try to watch The Flash. Una serie que se llama The Flash. You should watch, sorry, you should try to watch The Flash. Okay. Deberías intentar ver The Flash. You should visit El Pital. It is or it's awesome for camping. Deberías visitar El Pital. Es muy bueno o es asombroso para acampar. Yes. Me hace mucho frío. It's very cold. Right? Questions about should regarding regarding uh, recommendations? Preguntas sobre, sobre should acerca de, de recomendaciones? No? Okay. We also use should for suggestions. It's uh, things we want to change in a place. Changes at a company. Okay, changes at a company. Proposals, things to add at a place, things to remove at a place. Okay, esas son sugerencias. Cambios en una compañía, propuestas, cosas que agregar en un lugar y cosas que remover en un lugar. Okay, those are suggestions. The company should put enough toilet paper for a, for a day. There are many companies, people, you know, this is something necessary. We, we have to, you know, it's necessary. The company should put enough toilet paper for a day and they don't do it. There are some companies that do not have enough toilet paper for one day. That's not good. Okay, so the suggestion is the company should add or put more or enough paper, you know, for, for our necessities, you know, it's important. The company should clean the facilities more often. Wow, what a good suggestion. The company should clean the facilities more often or every day. Negative form, the company should not respond to the competition. The company should not respond to the competition. I think it's better to say to competition. Okay, pero está bien. So remember, suggestions are things that we want to add in a place or things that we want the company to remove from the place. Yes. Good ideas or bad ideas. Habitos, habits, habits. You should try, you should eat more healthy food. You should eat more healthy food. Yes, it's a good idea. You should not, I'm sorry, I was drinking soda. You should not drink too much soda. Sorry. <laughs> yes, you should not, people, you should not drink uh -huh. too much soda. You should not drink poison teacher. Yes, you are right. You are right. Yes. You should not waste time playing video games. You should not waste time playing video games. Well, in this case, puede variar, but it depends on the person. If it's a pasatiempo, it's okay. But some people, you know, waste their time playing video games. You should spend more time with your baby. Wow. Este para papá. <laughs> you should you should spend more time with your baby. <laughs> All right, there you go. So good ideas, bad ideas. Advice is advice is consejo for any kind of situation. Para cualquier tipo de situación. You should drive carefully. Jorge is driving right now. I think Jorge is driving. Jorge, you should drive carefully, okay? Be safe. You should take notes in class. You should take the medicine as the doctors say. And you should not disrespect your mother. You should not disrespect your mother. And that is advice. No deberías. 
falta de respeto a tu mamá. ¿Ok? Preguntas sobre should, people. Te dejamos acá. Questions about should. Okay, no questions. La, now let's practice. Practiquemos. Dígame ejemplos. Tell me examples or provide examples using recommendations, suggestions, good ideas, bad ideas, or advice. Go, people. Tell me, tell me. You should, you should. <laughs> you should? Finally, the class. <laughs> Mira que me recomiendan. Bad idea. Eso es una mala idea. That's a bad idea. You should finish, Seria. You should finish the class. Ah, okay, okay. Teacher, you should bring more water. Hey, what, look, 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 what <laughs> happened, what happened? <laughs> en, no en bolsa, ¿cómo sería? <laughs> not in a bag, not no... bag, why? No bag, contamina más. I'm sorry, if you ever, <laughs> o dos, de hecho no, tengo tres. <laughs> uh. <laughs> sorry. Es, es, es común, he visto eso bastante en Oriente que se consume. Yes, aquí en, sí, mire, o sea, en esta área donde vivo yo, yo se consume mucha agua en bolsa. Sí, lo he visto bastante en la Unión también. No consumen en depósito ni en botellitas normales, no que solo en bolsa. Ahí está, mire. No se vale. Dígame, no dígame. Se vale. No se vale eso. Guay. Que digan los de Oriente, todo, todos nosotros lo hacemos malo para ellos, no se vale. Es discrimination. No, no. I really, I really think it's discrimination. For me. El Salvador have three parts, occidental, paracentral, and... What is the paracentral? Listen, listen. Escuchen, listen to this. Uh -huh. You should, you should give me an example. Teacher, <laughs> you should watch the new Megalodon movie. Yeah, maybe, maybe. Thank you. <laughs> All right, people. More examples. Le envié uno al chat. Mira, dice, you should not pollute. Eso es contaminar. The planet. What else? What else? You should pay attention. Put you attention. should pay attention. Sandra should pay attention. Así es, cabal. <laughs> Sandra shouldn't sleep during the class. <laughs> True, true. I, Maya? Uh, I, okay. I can't teach. <laughs> Mayra, sorry. No, teacher, no. Decía que Sandra sí siempre pone atención. <laughs> wow. All right, all right. Yes. How, oh, how, we... Teacher, you, sh you shouldn't say liars. Mm -hmm. Tell lies. Tell. Tell, lies. Uh -huh. tell lies. You shouldn't tell lies. I never lie. I never lie. Once upon a time. No. Yes, yes. We all you lie. Say, I, I am man, say. <laughs> I'm a man. I'm a man. Men never lie. That's also discrimination. 
<laughs> you see, you see, yes, it is, it is true, it is true. <laughs> All right, Edwin, please. Do you have an example? Uh, maybe you sh you should be eat more vegetables. Okay, you should eat more vegetables. I don't like vegetables, but I, I eat. Okay, I eat vegetables sometimes. Andy, an example. I think Andy's not there. Diana? Um, you sure? You sure practice more English? Okay, you should practice more English. Yes, it is true. It is true. All right. Uh, let me see. Veronica? You should... You should drink a uh, a coffee. You should drink a coffee. No, coffee is bad. <laughs> okay, you should drink. You should drink coffee. All right, you should drink coffee. Coffee. Oh, coffee. Oh, oh, si la a, you should drink a cup of coffee. Hello, teacher. Hello, Andy. Can participate. Okay. Eh, anteriormente me llamó pero tenía problemas con el micrófono le, le yes, voy a decir yes. me... okay, okay. Este, and you should try harder in your study ok you should try harder in your studies yes it is true that's for you guys you should try harder with your English yes right. do you have more examples I should eat more vegetables. I should eat more vegetables, yes. Okay. It's a good idea. Yes. It's a good it's good advice. Okay, very good. Let's continue with uh, what we have in the book. In the book we have more examples and more information about should. Take a look, observemos. Use modal verb should for strong advice. Strong. Strong is un consejo fuerte, okay? Strong advice and recommendation. Structure. Subject plus verb plus, sorry. Subject plus should plus verb plus complement. Affirmative statements. ¿Quién lo puede leer? Uh, Mayra, go ahead, Mayra. Maya, can you read them? No, yes, teacher. What uh, read? This one, this one. You should wear a helmet inside the factory. Okay. Let's see again. It's about you, she. She should be one time every day. All right. You should wear a helmet, helmet casco, okay? You should wear a helmet inside the factory and she should be on time every day. Thank you for reading. Let me see. Anna, read the negative examples. Negative statements. Employees should smoke in the facilities. Uh, we should... Not forget to wear the uniform. Okay. Employees shouldn't smoke in the facilities. And we should not forget to wear the uniform. There you go. Excellent. Let's continue with this part. PCIE. You should to write sentences about the policies you Sorry, the policies in your workplace using the words in parentheses. Okay, vamos a hacer cuatro ejemplos usando lo que está aquí en parentheses con el should. Okay, yes. Creo que haremos uno en negativo, sería el último, creo. People, iniciamos. Go, go. 
I'm going to give you one minute per, per example. So four minutes. Cuatro minutos para poder hacerlo. Let me know if you have questions. You should. Yes. I have a question. En mm -hmm. la tercera, eh, ahí está conjugado el, el verbo. Se, o sea, yes. solo se puede usar ese verbo. Sí, ya Ajá. está el verbo. Sería... De hecho, en la, en, la, en la tres y cuatro ya están, ya están los verbos. En la uno y dos no están los verbos. Ajá, ok. No hay, no hay verbo. El verbo ahí es libre.
Let me know. Finish, teacher. Okay, thank you. So, my initial is soon, soon, soon. Four hours. I have, I have finished it. I have? I have finished it. Yes, Yo he I terminado. Have I have finished. Where is it? I'm done. Mm -hmm. no, but, uh, you can say I am done. I am finished. En pasado perfecto. Exactly. Or I have finished. Mm -hmm. I am finished. ready. Uh -huh. Hey Jorge, hello. You made it at home. Llego a casa. Excelente. Hello, teacher. Yes, I am. Excellent. Good, good. I'm happy. I'm glad. Thank you. Thank you. Okay. Iniciamos. Edwin, can you tell us the first one, Edwin? Uh, yes, uh, I don't have is correct, but I should be more responsible with my schedule. Responsible, responsible. Responsible, yes. Uh -huh. I should be more responsible with my schedule, dijo, ¿verdad? Yes. Yeah, yes. Perfect example, perfect example, thank you. Uh, ese, ese número uno y el dos varían, ok, con el verbo, porque puede ser diferente, ¿no? No hay verbo ahí, lo podemos, puede ser, es libre, es libre. Ana, el mismo, número uno. Ok, um, I should organize, organize better my, should organize better my school activities. Repeat, I should organize better my school activities. My schedule. A schedule. Okay, Seria. I should organize my schedule activities better. Okay. Okay, the example is correct. Diana, can you give us the same example? Number one. Number one. Yes. I shall respect my work schedule. I should. I should respect or respect. 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 My, my work schedule. 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 Do. Schedule. Schedule. Yes, I should respect my work schedule. Perfect example. Fantastic example. Yes, thank you. Let's continue with the second, the second one. This is it by dress code. My dress code. Maida, what do you have in the second one? I think um, I should respect my dress code. I should, Digo? Respect my dress code. Respect. Respect. I should respect. My dress. Okay, I should respect my work. Sorry, my dress code. My dress code. Excellent. Veronica, the same example, the second one. My dress code. Excuse me. Uh, you should use use my dress code. Desk code. We should my, we should use the Yes. Mm. Use. Yes. Maybe we should follow, we should follow, we should, es como usar, bueno, esta me suena bien. It sounds a little strange and weird, but, okay. Yeah, oh, yeah. what? Sorry? Ah, no, pero es ponerse, ¿verdad? What? No, no, también, también se puede, where, where, de hecho, where ah, es mucho más, es mucho más, a... okay. apropiado. <laughs> Es mucho mejor usar where que, que use. Yes. Okay. okay. Let's see. Uh, 
Andy, the same example, the second one. Andy, you there? Yes, teacher. Uh, I'm here. Sorry. And the second. Yes, second. Okay. Is the you should the same dress code in the in the office? Repeat. You should dress. You you should the same dress code in your office. Maybe you should wear the same. You should wear the same clothes. Uh, uh, okay, okay, sorry. No, no, it's okay, it's Wait, okay. Okay. Ah, okay. Mm -hmm. All right, all right. Okay, let's continue with the other one. Ismael, can you read the, the other one? Three, number three. Uh, the new employees should attend tra attend training during the first months in the company. Okay, okay. Thank you, Ismael, for sharing. Excellent. Let me see. Sandra, <clears throat> excuse me, Sandra. Uh, last teacher. Yes, no, 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 the same one, same one. You should same don't one. forget that hand training. You should? You should forget attend trainings. Okay, you shouldn't. Negativo, verdad? Yes. Okay, you shouldn't forget to attend. You shouldn't forget mm -hmm. to attend yeah, trainings. Like, like, trainings. Okay, yes. Yes, that one is good. That one is good. All right. Edwin, can you help us with the same number three? What do you have? Uh, I have, I should be punctual in my attend trainings. Mm. No, because attend is a verb. It's a verb I include you, attend. Uh. Cambialo. <laughs> Improvise. I should be punctual, punctual. Okay. Como puntual? Lo que puedo hacer es quitar el attend y poner, poner el, el should be. I should be punctual in my trainings. Oh. Attend, ya no lo tomaría, digamos. Ya, ya, ya puso el be, el be es el verbo. Y aquí attend es el verbo. Ah, okay. Uh -huh. okay. Exactly. I should be punctual in my trainings. Ajá, uh -huh, there you go. Or mm -hmm. I should attend my trainings punctually. Oh, punctually. Okay. Anna, number four. Um, workers shouldn't sleep in worse hours in the office. Repeat it. Workers shouldn't sleep in work hours in the office. Okay. You shouldn't sleep in work hours. Like, you, no, that's not good. Not a good idea. <laughs> All right. Uh, well, I think this one is like, esa la misma, es la misma para todos, creo, porque es la misma repetida. Eso de negativo. You should not, you should not sleep in work hours. Yes. All right. We only have seven minutes. Yes. And, uh, well, we do not have time to, to do activity number five. What we're going to do right now is continue practicing with should. Yes. I'm going to ask you questions about should, and I need you guys to recommend, to suggest, or to give me good advice or bad advice about what I'm going to ask you. Ready? Okay, Sandra, hello.
Hello, teacher. Hi. Should I travel to Paris? Should I travel to Paris? Yeah, travel to. to Could you repeat of... the last? Paris, what? Paris, Paris, Paris. Paris. Mm -hmm. I should. No, no, me, me. Should I travel to Paris? Mm -hmm. Should travel. Well, well, so respond that yes, travel. you should travel to Paris. Yes, you should travel to Paris. Okay, all right. Thank you. Ana Victoria, hello. Uh -huh. What happened? <laughs> should should I buy the new iPhone fourteen? Yes, so. Yes, you, uh -huh. yes. Punto. You should. Uh huh. Yes, should. The question is: Should I buy, comprar the new iPhone fourteen? Yes, I should. Bye. No. Sobre mí, sobre mí. Should I? Debería yo. No, you shouldn't. Yes, should. You shouldn't. Yes. You shouldn't buy. <laughs> no, yes, should. You, yes, should buy. Should buy. No, teacher. Yes or no? What do you think? Yes. I'm saying no. <laughs> you shouldn't buy. Only is yes, an iPhone. Well, you know, I have an iPhone. Este que tengo acá es el iPhone 10 XL. Imagínense, ¿para qué quiero el 14? Wow, wow, wow. Este es el modelo. 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 All right. Mayra, should I practice sports? Yes, you should. Yes, you should. Okay. Yes, you should. Yes, I should. Okay, I should practice sports. Veronica? Yes. Should I visit my grandparents? Of course. <laughs> yes, I should. So I should, right? I should. It's I important should. visit it, yeah. It's it's highly important, you know. Edwin, hello, Edwin. Hello. Should I should I buy a PlayStation 5? Uh no. You shouldn't because it's so expensive. It is wow. expensive. It is expensive, yes. Only four hundred dollars. <laughs> it's not it's not not a good idea. Not it's more important idea. than lunch. <laughs> exactly. Lunch is more important. Tiene razón, tiene razón. Tiene mucha, mucha razón. Yes. All right. Mayra, hello Mayra. Hello, teacher. Should I drink water? Yes, you should. More water in bottle. You should drink a lot of water. Yes. Okay, thank you. In Andy, hello, and Sorry? In botella. No, in bottle. <laughs> uh, yeah, porque me regañan me. <laughs> hey, no, I'm sorry. Mire, okay. <laughs> Mal ejemplo. That's <laughs> good. No, good recommendation. I should, I should, I should drink. Uh, not, not this water, right? Different water. It's a aqua All right, Andy, are you there? I'm here, teacher. Should I buy a new laptop? Mm, yes, teacher. I show the boy the boy laptop. Yes, you. Porque sobre mí, sobre mí. Should I? Debería yo? Mm, yes. Yes, should boy laptop. Yes, you should buy laptop because it's how do you say herramienta? Tool. Ah, okay. It's tool of, of work. 
Okay. Okay. All right. Should I finish the class? Yes. Yes, teacher. No, no respondieron. No, teacher. No, yes. teacher. Jorge dice que no, mire. Jorge. Ya acaba de venir. <laughs> wow, Jorge, mire. Should Jorge, should Jorge give me an example? Yeah. Yes. Yeah. Okay, Jorge. Sure. Un ejemplo con should. <laughs> should I go to class at time? Should I be, Seria? Should I be? Should I be? Should I go in? Be. be. Should I go in be? No, no. Is it, is it going join. Should I be? Should I be in class on time, Seria? On time. Okay. Yes. Yes, he should. Yes, you should. Debería, no, it's already. No, si estaba, lo que pasa es que manejando. Okay, aquí estaba él, estaba manejando. Yes. People, people, relax. Take it easy. Settle, settle down. Okay. Okay. Relax the cake. Exactly, right? I was checking the platform, people, and, uh, well, there are some people that have not finished yet. I need you guys to complete the activities today or tomorrow, the latest. Sandra, you are uh, behind. Sara, we have uh, else. Diana, you are behind. Carlos Eliezer, Carlos Alberto. You guys need to work on the platform, please. You have to do it. And, uh, and Jancy, you have to work on the platform. And Veronica, you are okay. When, when do you check, teacher? Sorry? When last do you check? The last time, right now. Yes, okay, teacher. I'm checking right now. <laughs> And be with directo. <laughs> okay, actualizo Ana Victoria Galán. Present. Thank you. Andy Ernesto Martinez. Present. Thank you. Brian David Ramirez. Present, teacher. Thank you. Carlos Alberto Orrego. Carlos Eliezer Dimas. Christian Alexander parece que no estuvo ese día. Denise Alejandra Zúñiga. Diana Yamilet Maravilla. Edwin Heriberto Delgado. Present. Thank you. Ismael Ernesto Boyar. I'm here, teacher. Thank you. Jorge Ernesto Hernández. Present teacher. Thank you, Marvin Jose Cortez. Mayra Elizabeth Lasso. I'm here, present teacher. Thank you, Paola was not here today. Raquel was not here today due to electricity problems. Sandra Yves Mendoza tampoco estuvo. Hello, teacher. <laughs> yes. Sorry. She was in spirit. <laughs> exactly. Sara Rachel no estuvo. Verónica Lisa Portillo. Present. And Jancy Andrea Solorzano. Present. Okay, people. Let me see. ¿Quién es el ganador de ahora? Who is the win? I'm sorry. Yes. Thank you. Sandra. Yes. Thank you. Thank you. Sandra. <laughs> you are the way teacher. Hemos concluido con todo el listado. Vamos a reiniciar. El primero de la lista es. Empiece con el final. Es en serio. Es en serio. Vamos a reiniciar. Vamos a reiniciar desde el principio. Así que Ana, sorry. Okay. Oh. Yes. <laughs> Congratulations, Anna. Anna. Congratulations. <laughs> yes. 
All right, people, thank you for joining today. See you tomorrow. Descansa mañana viernes. Okay. Yes. Yes. Por fin, por fin, es viernes. Okay. Nos vemos, cuídense. Buenas noches. Que descansen todos. Good night, everyone. Good night, everyone. Good night. Bye, bye, bye. Good night, Ana. Good, Good, Good night. night. Bye, bye. Bye. Enjoy the time. John is como un castigo. No. <laughs> Wow. Bye. Bye. Be happy. <laughs> no tengo opción. Take it easy, take it easy. Yo pensé que era broma, ¿eh? En serio. <laughs> no, no, no es broma, es en serio. Ya se quiere quedar, dice. <laughs> es que no me ve el teacher, yo me quedara, pero no me ve y dice que a él así no le gusta. Ah. O sea, mira, le gusta eh, vemos un. Tenemos un paraíso ahí de rosado. Bueno, sí, es cierto, es bonito. ¿Es en serio? Todavía yes. estoy dudando. Yes. Guay. Yes. Y los es demás. Es que, es que Tan rápido es que, terminamos los 20. La cuestión es que hay, hay muchos acá que no... Bueno, tenemos a... Son 21 por todos. Ajá. Pero hubo dos retiros. Se retiró Ana... Perdón, se retiró este Edith Adilia. Y ah. Ricardo Dulas, que nunca se conectaron ellos y la, ya están aquí retirados. Pero son, son 19. Okay. Y tengo acá uno que no, que no, bueno, una persona que no participa para nada, participa, que es Jancy Andrea, ella no, no, no se involucra en, la, en nada. No sé por qué, sí, la y son tres menos, ve. Son tres menos bueno. y tenemos acá que. Y había muchos que tienen oyentes ahora, entonces. Sí, yo, bueno, yo igual al principio, toda la primera hora, o sea, sí me conecté, pero no, no sé nada de la clase que pasó la primera hora. No sé, sí, aparte del su Hablábamos de, de políticas. Hablábamos de políticas. Sí, sí, de las compañías. Eso estábamos haciendo. Ah. Sí. Sí, okay. no. Do you have any questions, Ana? ¿Algunas preguntas sobre lo que hemos visto, los temas que hemos visto? Ajá, uh, sí, I have a question. I, I like, no. Oh, the first part of the class, <laughs> the first hour. Hicimos un pequeño repaso de los idioms que vimos ayer. Los idioms que vimos ayer eran, aquí lo pueden en el chat para que lo vayan viendo. Vamos a repasarlos también. Hang in there, ahí lo coloqué en el chat, lo puede ver. Okay. Uh -huh. vimos, vimos ocho de ellos, ocho. Hang in there era uno de ellos. Hang in there significaba, ¿o qué significaba? ¿Se acuerda? Do you remember? No, I don't remember. No, I don't. No? No. <laughs> okay. Hang in there to have a lot of patience. Uh, uh -huh. To have a lot of patience. That is hang in there. Yes, to have a lot of patience, uh, sleep once. This is the most difficult, mire. Sleep once mind. Sleep once mind significa olvidar, to forget. Solo, solo yes. olvidar, sleep once. Yes. Eh, y así es toda la frase o el... no les semana. comentaba también les comentaba a, 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 a ustedes bueno a los que estaban conectados en ese momento que ese once que está ahí no es que se coloca uh -huh. ese once sino que ese once es para colocar una persona específica más sí, bien más bien es para para colocar el aquí lo voy a poner sí, eso lo dijo ayer pero también Ayer muchos se confundieron por eso. Uh -huh. Tantos se confundieron con eso. Modismos son estos, ¿verdad? Sí, sí. Modismos. Dichos o modismos. Ahí lo colocaron en el chat, mira. Es para colocar okay. esas palabras que están ahí. My, your, his, her, it's, your, our, and their. No se pone el once. Ese once se omite.
tomando acá. ¿Qué más? Ok, tenemos aquí también tu scale. Back. Once. Hours. Ese es otro. To scale back once hours. It means to reduce. To reduce the working hours. To reduce the working hours. Reducir las horas de trabajo. Reducir las okay. horas de trabajo. Ese es to scale back once hours. Igual ese once no se usa, sino que se, se cambia mm -hmm. o se reemplaza se por sustituye. my, your, his, etc. Yes. Otro más. To have a lot on one's plate. To have a lot on one's plate significa to have a lot of work or to have many things to do. Muchas cosas que hacer. Yes, have a lot on one's plate. Igual ese once se omite por el my, your, here, etc. He's okay, her. Sí, todo eso. No, que me había repetido dos veces en un módulo. <laughs> Sorry? No, que me había repetido dos veces la... La asistencia en un módulo. Sorry. Que me estoy riendo. No, no, no tengo problema. Solo que estoy en mi casa y como cuando trabajo, que me toca dar clases, me vengo a mi casa porque aquí no hay ruido. Y después oh, okay. me voy donde mi mamá. Yeah, no, pero no hay yeah. problema. Es cerca, como a dos kilómetros de aquí. ¿Tú kilómetros está lejos? No, pero en el carro. Es ah, que, bueno, sí. Es, que, carro, es sí. que aquí es como un poco más urbano y donde mi mamá es más rural, entonces hay gallos, perros, sí, sí. hay mucho ruido. Entiendo. Mientras que aquí como no, la casa está sola, ¿no? Okay, es más tranquilo para trabajar, pero ya me voy a ir. Ok, good, good. El siguiente, mire. To keep one's, excuse me, to keep one's head above the water Mantener la cabeza fuera del agua. No, no. Ah, sí, se me acuerdo. To keep. Uh -huh. That means to survive, sobrevivir, sobrellevar. Okay, whatever, whatever work or whatever situation you're going through. Okay, you have to keep your head. Igual en ese, okay. metimos el once, quitamos ese once por la persona, okay? Por la persona. Uh -huh. yes. Tenemos también, lo más sencillo son estos, mire, eso ya tengo más, más. Como un stressed out, stressed out, super estresado, estar super estresado, to be very stressed, stressed out, stressed out. Always. <laughs> We also have white out, observe ahí está, white out, que significa to be very tired, to be very tired, estar muy, estar muy cansado. To be very tired. To settle. Okay. To settle down. To settle down is similar to take it easy. Take it easy. Relax, right? Mm -hmm. Este settle down is when alguien está enojado. Like when somebody is angry. And you're like, hey, Anna, settle down. <laughs> Relax, take it easy. Okay, vamos a ver cuatro, uno, he cortado, he okay. cortado aquí, uno, dos, tres, cuatro, cinco, seis, cuatro, cinco, seis, cuatro, cinco, seis, uno, dos, tres, cuatro, cinco, seis, siete. Ok, esos son todos los que vimos. Esos son todos okay. los que vimos. Que ¿Y, ¿Y qué más vieron después de eso? Antes de llegar al show. Oh, y estábamos leyendo, estábamos leyendo, quiero mostrar para que vean. Estábamos uh -huh. leyendo, leímos a, a algunas políticas en general, en general y específicas vimos esto que está acá pasó esta código de conducta la pequeña definición de código de conducta y lo que envuelve ese código de conducta aquí tenemos muchos muchos uh, esa, code of conduct policy may cover the following 
lo que cubre la política de conducta, esto que está acá. Observen uh -huh. todo eso que está acá, esto que vimos. Lo estábamos leyendo, chequeamos el vocabulario y eso fue lo que hicimos. Solo okay. vimos tres, vimos este que está acá, Code of Conduct, el código de conducta. Recruitment Policy, esa es la política de reclutamiento y lo que envuelve esa política y el Internet y, y la política de Internet más correos. Cómo se usa el correo, el Internet en la compañía y lo que envuelve eso que está ahí. Y solo fue, perdón. No, esas tres. Ay, God. Me dio alergia. Ok. okay. No, vimos cuatro, al menos. Yes. Tenemos este Code of Conduct, Recruitment Policy, Internet and Email Policy y el uso del teléfono, la política de uso del teléfono en las compañías. Eso fue lo que vimos. Y teníamos también este y este, pero ya de no había mucho tiempo para, para cubrirlos. Eso fue lo que hicimos, lo discutimos y básicamente fue lo que hicimos. Ah, ok. Bueno, ya hice una captura de cada uno para revisarlos. Ok. Sí, sí, es sencillo entenderlas sencillo entenderlas uh -huh. sí lo voy a revisar para yes. tener idea okay. okay thank you do you have more questions Anna no I I don't have questions okay perfecto bueno gracias por quedarse por segunda bueno. vez <risa> no no hay problema cuídense sí, bueno antes descanse y que le vaya bien bueno maneje con, tran con tranquilidad Sí, no, sí, tengo que recoger mis cosas. Ya en un ratito me voy. Voy a tener que ir a trabajar. Yes. All right. Sí, nos vemos. Cuídense mañana. Thank you, teacher. Mañana viernes. Sí, sí. Bye. Good night. Good night.